Then, so this is your last session for your physics chapter, and in this session, I will discuss with you those question and answers and those exercises. So I want you to all note down and write down in your uh, physics copy. Okay, so now let's move on to the methods of increasing friction. Okay, so in the before sessions, we have been discussing about that friction can be increased as well as can be decreased. We have also read about that frictions they have both advantages as well as disadvantages. And in some cases, more frictional force is required, okay? And in some cases, less friction is needed, okay? So, in this class, we'll be studying about the methods, how to increase frictions, as well as the methods, how to decrease friction, okay? So, first, we'll move on to the methods of increasing friction, okay? The first point is that grooves are made in the tires of vehicles to increase friction and prevent skidding, or we can say, or prevent slipping, okay so you in the uh, there is a friction between the tires of a vehicles and road okay so if there is a friction between the tires of a vehicle and road is less then the vehicle will not have a firm grip okay on the road and it can easily slip okay remember that if friction is less what will happen is that your car tire and the and the, the, the car tire and the road what will happen is that eventually your car tire will slip Okay, uh, at the same time, so in order to increase this friction between your tires of your vehicles and the road, so grooves are made, okay, in order to prevent your car from slipping on the road, okay, or we can say that in order to increase the friction, a groove is being made, okay, so what is groove is that when you look at your car tire, okay, you will see that there's some sharp edges type or a little bit blunt edges, okay, so this is grooves. Okay, so grooves are made in these tires in order to increase friction that will prevent your car from sliding. Okay, and at the same time, we can also see that at the sole of our shoes, you will see that there are some grooves which will increase friction and it will prevent us from slipping or uh, sliding on a slippery road. Okay, so we should know that in our tires of our vehicles that grooves are being made so that when you increase the friction your car will not slide or skid on the road okay next one you have is spikes are provided in the shoes of players and athletes to increase friction and prevent slipping so i think you have all seen a football shoe right so in the football shoe when you look at the uh, when you look at the football shoes okay you can see that there are some um, pointed parts so at the you will see that there are some pointed parts in your football shoes okay so why do you have those foot uh, those pointed part is order to increase the friction okay so that you will prevent yourself from slipping and at the same time when you see some uh, runners or some athletes their shoes they also have some spikes on it okay we can also call this pointed part as spikes so why do they have spikes is that they will prevent themselves from slipping okay when they are in contact with the ground or with the surface okay these spikes will increase the friction and will prevent the players from falling down okay and you uh, at the same time it can also help the athletes on to run faster okay it helps the athletes to run and not to fall because this will increase the friction okay the spikes will increase the friction and it will prevent the player from falling down okay next one you can see is that machine belts are made of special material to increase friction and drive machine wheels properly so now what will happen here in many machines okay like floor mills especially during bihu time bihu time i think you all go to the mills okay to grind your uh, rice okay so you you will see that there are belts there are belts in the machine okay there are belts those belts are used to drive the wheels for running the machines okay you have seen that i think so here what happened is that greater friction is required okay between the belts and machines machine wheels okay so that the belts can drive the machine wheels properly okay so if so that uh, it will so that the machine will run properly without slipping off the wheels okay so in here even the machine belts and the wheels okay they need to increase the friction if there is if the friction is less what will happen is that the wheels may also slip off 
okay so in order to increase this friction okay the machine belts are made of special materials that are having a rough surface remember they cannot have a smooth surface if the belts have a smooth surface what will happen is that the wheels might slip off okay so and i told you that in smooth surfaces the frictions are less so in order to increase this friction the machine belts are made of special type of materials that have a rough surface that will prevent the wheels from slipping it off okay now let's move on now we have already discussed about the methods of increasing friction now let's move on to the methods of reducing friction so under this methods of reducing frictions okay the first like in some cases friction is very harmful to us okay so sometimes we want to reduce friction to make it less harmful to us okay so friction can be reduced by following methods the first one is that frictions can be reduced by applying lubricants to the rubbing surface okay what are lubricants lubricants are applying of oil or grease to a machine okay or you can say that those oil or greens grease are known as your lubricants and when you apply them on a machine it is called as your lubrication okay so the friction i told you that between the moving parts of the machine can be reduced okay when you apply a lubricant like oil or grease to them okay so when you apply oil or grease to the moving parts of the machine okay the rubbing surface becomes smooth and the friction between them is reduced okay so i have a moving part of a i have two machines they are moving constantly okay so they are moving with a greater friction so once i want to re uh, reduce the friction i told you that friction is less in the smooth surface so this uh, machines they have a rough surface and so they are moving continuously okay since they have a rough surface so they are moving con continuously so since they are moving continuously i want to decrease their uh, friction so what will i do is that i will apply oil or grease so that this surface will become smooth and then the friction will become reduced okay another one is that friction can be reduced by using ball bearings in machines so the ball bearings are mostly used in machines if you want to know what is ball bearings you can go to your page 56 and you can look at figure 3.23 and 3.24 okay these ball bearings are used in machines to reduce friction between the moving parts of the machine okay so your ball bearings they consist of a small ball that are enclosed with two metal rings okay so when these two metal rings they rotate then the steel ball they enclose between them and they also rotate that will help them to reduce friction so like a ball bearing is nothing when you have a two metal rings okay inside there you'll be enclosed with a ball here okay so what does this ball bearing do okay like you can see that in the axle of your bicycle and cars okay you can see that you'll have a ball bearing okay so this ball bearing will allow to reduce the friction when it allows to reduce friction what will happen is that the car will not have to rub the uh will not have to rub directly against the rim of your wheel okay so that will able to reduce the friction another one you have is that friction can be reduced by using wheels to move an objects as i've told you that it will be quite difficult that to move a heavy suitcase right by dragging onto the ground so because of the friction between the suitcase and the ground is very large so what will you do is that as i told you in the previous class also that when you drag a suitcase okay the friction is more okay so what will i do is that in order for me to make it easier for me to uh, pull the suitcase what will i do is that i will put a small wheels in them so that i can pull them in the ground easily so here the friction becomes less between the wheels of the suitcase and the ground but if i do not put the wheel okay in the suitcase the friction between the suitcase and the ground will be more okay so thus friction will be reduced by attaching wheels to the suitcase okay all the moving vehicles like your bicycle cars are also fitted with wheels in order to reduce friction with the road okay next one is that friction can be reduced by streamlining the body of a moving objects okay so this is done by making the front portion of the moving bodies pointed or sharp okay so if the uh, the front portion okay this portion if it's not made pointed or sharp 
what will happen is that the friction will be more as i've given you the example of your football boot okay so if the surface of your football boot is not fitted with a pointed or any sharp bodies what will happen is that the friction will be more and it will allow you f it, it will make you slip on the road so since the since the surface of the body is attached with some pointed uh, pointed or sharp object it will help you to reduce friction and it will prevent you from falling down this one we have is a limiting friction okay we all know that friction they always opposes the motion like if your motion is in this way friction will always move in the opposite direction or suppose if your motion is in this direction then your friction will move in this direction we know that right and also your friction will always act between any two surfaces when they are in contact suppose i have here a scissor okay this scissor a friction will occur between this scissor and paper okay because they are in contact between two surfaces okay so uh, let me give you an example the scissor okay if i apply a bit force small force little force will the scissor move no right and if i put a more force okay if i give if i push a little bit more force the scissor still doesn't move okay why is that so okay because we know that the frictional force should always have been increased accordingly okay but does the frictional force keep on increasing no right why is that because if it keeps on increasing no motion would be possible if it goes on like that okay so the frictional free, uh, frictional force can only increase up to a limit up to a certain limit okay so frictional force they cannot keep on increasing accordingly okay they will be increased only up to a limit and then this limit it is known as your limiting for friction okay so your limiting friction can also be defined as the maximum value of the friction that can occur between two surfaces is called limiting friction like i have given you example between the scissor and paper okay if um, there will be a maximum value there will be a maximum value of friction that will occur between this scissor and this uh, paper okay so that is known uh, that is known as your limiting friction that can only increase up to a limit okay so i hope you're clear with the chapter on force now we will discuss about uh, the question answers the checkpoints and everything okay checkpoint that is page 47 fill in the blanks okay when you draw water from a well you dash the rope you should write pull okay take the pull when you hold a bucket full of water the bucket pulls your hand in the game of tug of war each team pulls the rope pulls okay in the game of cricket the stumps fall when the ball strikes them the ball pushes the stump okay so number b you do it by yourself it is very easy since i've already explained to you the chapter on force so if you understand properly what is force i think you can do this by yourself go to your checkpoint that is page 51 okay number one what is force write its si unit you turn this to page 44 <clears throat> so in page 44 you will see here the push or pull on an object is called force this is the first part of the answer okay second part of the answer is the standard unit of force in si unit system is newton or kilogram weight so these are your answer for question number one now we'll move on to question number two what are the effects of force this one also you turn to page 44 okay here you write only three points you write the first point a force can move a stationary object second point a force can stop a moving object and the third point a force can change the speed of an object so you write down on three points okay now let's move on to the next name any three types of force turn to page 47 you can write uh, turn to page 47 okay here you can write contact uh, mechanical force frictional force and you can also write muscular force you can write a mechanical force frictional force and muscular force next one give two example of muscular force you turn to page 48 okay, i hope you know how to elaborate the answer like the two example of muscular force you can write them so you write here 
horses number example 1 horses and camels pulling carts okay example number 2 is elephants pulling heavy logs of wood so you got here two examples next one you have is which force can be used to collect iron pins pins accidentally scattered on a floor you write magnetic force m a g n e t i c magnetic f o r c e magnetic force then the next one Name the force responsible for wearing out a bicycle tire. You write frictional force. F-R-I-C-T-I-O-N-A-L. A-N-A-L. Frictional F-O-R-S-C-E. Frictional force. Then, what is the weight of the body? Name the device to measure the weight of an object. So, for the answer, what is the weight of a body? You turn to page 49. Okay, you, I think you can see page 49 under the heading of weight. The, gravita the gravitational pull of the earth on a body is called its weight. Till here, okay? And for the second option, name the device used to measure the weight of an object. You write here, spring balance. S-P-R-I-N-G, spring balance. Okay, now we'll move on to the next checkpoint. Okay, page 57. So the first question is, define frictional force. You turn to page 51. So turn to page 51 you'll see the heading here frictional force a self-adjusting force so below here you can see here you count one two three four five six seven eight the eight line the force that acts between the two surfaces which are in contact is called frictional force this is your answer okay next one state two advantages and two disadvantages of friction you turn to page 52 Okay, here you do not need to elaborate anything, okay? You just write under the disadvantages, just write the main point. Friction wears away the sole of your shoes, only up to the here. And another one you write, a person may fall due to less friction. Just write only the heading here, okay? Under the disadvantages, you can turn to page 53. Then here you'll find friction enables us to walk without slipping. Another one is that friction enables us to write and draw on paper okay so now you got your two disadvantages and advantage of friction next one to fill in the blanks the sole of shoes wears out due to friction you write f-r-i-c-t-i-o-n friction frictional force always opposes motion m-o-t-i-o-n motion now let's move on to number four what does why does a man sleep when he steps on a banana skin to you you mark from the question itself a man sleep when he steps on a banana skin okay you turn to page 52 to page 52 i think a person may fall due to less friction i think you can see here you go to the second line because the banana skin reduce the friction between the foot and the floor okay that is your answer next one why is it difficult to walk properly on a smooth floor you write it is difficult to walk properly on a smooth floor because friction is less right it is difficult to walk properly on a smooth floor because friction is less okay which will cause more friction a rough surface or a smooth surface you'll write friction will cause more in a rough surface okay elaborate the sentence friction will cause more on a rough surface okay next one what are the different methods of reducing friction for this you turn to page 56 so even here you do not need to write the explanation you just write the top points friction can be reduced by applying lubricants oil or grease to the rubbing surface and the next one you write only two points okay friction can be reduced by using ball bearings in machines and then you write here friction can reduce by using wheels to move objects and the other one you can write friction can be reduced by streamlining the body of the moving objects next one Mention some methods of increasing friction. For this, you turn to page 55. Under page 55, you'll see the heading, Methods of Increasing Friction. So even here, you do not need to write the explanation. Just write the main points. Grooves are made in the tires of vehicles to increase friction and prevent skidding. Up to here. Next one, spikes are provided in the shoes of players and athletes to increase friction and prevent slipping. Okay. Third point, machine belts are made of special material to increase friction and drive machine properly. Now let's move on to the next one. Multiple choice question. Okay? Number one, the force may cause in an object 
change in inertia. Number A. The unit of force is Newton. Which of the following is not an example of force of the gravity? You write number B. A boy pushing a cart on a level plane. The unit of weight in SI system is kilogram. The weight of a body is the weight of the body is equal to the weight of the body is equal to mass into gravity. The force of friction is you write number C either advantageous or disadvantageous. Number seven grooves in a tire you write number A increase friction of the tire with the road. Number eight name the types of forces involved in the following. So we have to name them which type of forces. Okay. So number A, a leaf falling from a tree, you write gravitational force. Okay. A working pull a worker pulling a cart on a level road, you write here muscular force. I just wrote in short form. Okay, you write here muscular force. Number C, a person diving into a swimming pool, you write here gravitational force. Okay, you can refer your textbook for the spelling. And then D, balloons moving away from each other after they are rubbed against a nylon cloth. What will it be this one? Tell me. It is electrostatic force. Okay. Next one. Which of the following is an example of force at a distance? You write the gravitational pull of the earth. Next one. Weight of a body is measured by using the formula. Number C. W is equal to mg. Number 11. Friction always opposes. You write motion. Okay, now we'll move to fill in the blanks. Friction always acts in the opposite direction of the movement of the objects. The maximum value of friction is called limiting friction. In machines, ball bearings and roller bearings are used to reduce friction. Okay, the spring balance is used to measure weight. Rolling friction is much less than the sliding friction. Now we'll move to match the column. Number one, the force acting due to the earth on a body is gravitational force. A man pulling a bucket of water out of a well, it is your muscular force. The force exerted by a cricket bat on the ball, it is your change in the direction of motion. Okay. A boy, the boy pulling at the rope tied to the collar of its of his goat, it is your the difference of two forces. Then number five, the resulting of the two forces acting in opposite direction, it is impact force. Now we'll move on to the next true or false. The frictional force is always equal and opposite to the applied force. True, the force of friction is never useful to us. You write false. Then the force of friction does not depend on the nature of surface. False, the friction has no limit. False. Friction can be reduced by streamlining the body of the moving object. You write true. Now we'll move on to the next one. Differentiate between. Okay, for this number one and number two, I have written for you in a paper. So while I dictate, I want you to write down. Okay, tires having grooves and fish having streamlined bodies. I hope you can read it. Okay, so you write tires have grooves in order to increase frictions and fishes have streamlined bodies in order to reduce friction so i'll repeat tires have grooves in order to increase friction and fishes have streamlined bodies in order to reduce friction next one you have is muscular force and gravitational force again this one i have written the notes so you write for muscular force you just write this down first the muscles of human beings including animals apply Force, this is called muscular force, right? The muscles of human beings, including animals, apply force. This is called muscular force. For gravitational force, it is in your textbook. For here, the answer is going to be tricky, so I want you to listen carefully. So you write, for gravitational force, you write, the earth pulls it down. This pull of the earth is a force and known as gravitational force. Okay? Or you can also write in this way. The pull of the earth, instead of writing this one, the pull of the earth is a force and is known as a gravitational force. What you have is your static and sliding friction down to page 
53. So under static, you write, when a force is applied on an object to move it and it does not move, the force applied is balanced by the force of friction. This is called static friction. Okay, that is for your static friction. Now turn to page 54. You write the maximum, the minimum force required to make a body just to slide over the surface is equal to the sliding friction. Okay, now you have again defined the following terms and give example of each. Now you go to gravitational force. So page 48, now you look it. The pull of the earth is a force and is known as gravitational force. Okay, this is the definition. Now you have to give the example. You write example. A ball falls down if it is released from some height. Then instead of writing this, cut this part and you write because the earth pulls it down. Okay, example. A ball falls down if it's released from some height because the earth pulls it down. Okay, first you write this, second you write this. Once you have this muscular force, okay, so before that I have already given you the definition under here muscular force, okay. So you write the same definition which I've given you, okay. So now when it comes to example, you turn to page 48. You can write down example horses and camels pulling carts, the same one you can write, then elephants pulling having logs of a wood. You can write either one of them, okay.